Pepper meets the Queen. Pepper and her family are watching television. Suddenly, there is a special announcement from the Queen. The Queen, the Queen! Cheers, Pepper. Hello to you all, the Queen says. Today, I have decided to give the award to the hardest working person in the country. The hardest working person in the country is Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit, you are spectacular, doing so many jobs at once, delivering ice creams on the day that it's hot, driving helicopters, fire engines to put out fires, driving the trains, being the conductor, working in the library, and even driving skyscraper cranes. Miss Rabbit. You are wonderful. At the supermarket, Miss Rabbit is closing the shop when Mister Zebra, the postman, presents her with a golden letter. The letter says, "Miss Rabbit, please come to my palace to get a medal for all your hard work. Bring friends. All the best, the Queen." Uh, I can't visit the Queen. I've got too much work to do. Miss Rabbit panics. Don't worry, Pepper says. The Queen has made it a holiday. It's the day Miss Rabbit visits the Queen. Pepper and her friends are going too. We're off to see the Queen. We're off to see the Queen. E I E I. We're off to see the Queen. Here we are, Miss Rabbit squeaks. As they arrive at an enormous palace, look at all the fancy stuff. Roof, Danny Dog says. Don't touch anything, Miss Rabbit warns. Where is the Queen? Emily Elephant asks. Queen, Susie Sheep calls. Where are you? In another fancy room, there is a lady sitting on a throne, knitting. Hello, Peppa says. Have you seen the Queen today? <laughs> I am the Queen, the lady says. The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty," says Miss Rabbit. "I'm excited to meet all of you," the Queen says, standing up. "And now for Miss Rabbit's special medal. This is the Queen's award for industry. Keep up the good work, Miss Rabbit." The Queen puts a shiny gold medal over Miss Rabbit's head. "Cheers for Miss Rabbit," the Queen says. "Hip hip." Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Shout the children. Miss Rabbit and the children wear their boots and go out into the palace gardens with the Queen. They pass lots of different plants and flowers, statues and water fountains. Do you play in the garden all the time, Your Majesty? Danny Dog asks. Oh no, I don't have time for playing. Answers the Queen. The queen suddenly stops. Oh dear! A muddy puddle. Never mind. We can walk around it. You can't walk around a muddy puddle, Peppa says. You have to jump in it. Peppa shows the queen how to jump up and down in muddy puddles. I say, that does look fun, the queen says. Here goes one then. Stop! Shouts Peppa. Everyone gasp. <gasps> If you jump in muddy puddles, Peppa says, you must wear your boots, Your Majesty. The Queen goes inside and comes back with her boots on, and they jump up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, including the Queen. Peppa's muddy puddle walk. Peppa and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. It's muddy puddle walk day, says Peppa. What's that? asks Granny Pig. It's a sponsored walk with play group, says Peppa. We're going to jump in muddy puddles all the way. Splat splat! Shouts George. The walk is to raise money to help people.
explains Peppa, and to get really, really muddy. I love getting muddy, says Grandpa Pig. Can Granny Pig and I come along too? Yes, says Peppa. Madame Gazelle says that having lots of people will make the walk even more fun, says Peppa. Shall I bring this giant chocolate cake I made? Asks Granny Pig. We can sell it at the walk. Yes, please, says Peppa. Miss Rabbit has a cake store. Oh, sighs Grandpa Pig. I was rather hoping I could have a slice. But Grandpa says Peppa, it will help us raise money. As everyone puts on their boots and gets ready for the walk, Peppa sings a song. Who loves muddy puddles? We do, we do. Who loves muddy puddles? We do, we do. Daddy and Mummy, me and George, we're all going on a muddy puddle walk. Have you got your boots on? We do, we do. Have you got your boots on? We do, we do. Granny and Grandpa, me and George, we're all going on a muddy puddle walk. <laughs> When they arrive. Granny Pig takes her cake to Miss Rabbit's cake stall. Then Madame Gazelle asks everyone to head to the starting line. Now says Madame Gazelle, "Has everyone got their boots on?" Yes, everyone cheers. Okay, ready, steady, go! Calls Madame Gazelle. Grandpa Pig reaches a very deep, muddy puddle. Jump in it, Grandpa! cries Peppa. <laughs> okay, says Grandpa Pig. He jumps straight into the very deep, muddy puddle. Splat, splat, squelch, squelch. He he he! Peppa and George jump in too. Everyone gets very muddy. Jumping in all of the muddy puddles, at the end of the walk, Peppa and her family each get a sticker and a certificate. Fantastic news, everyone! Says Madame Gazelle. We've raised lots of money. Hooray! Everybody cheers. Granny says, "Peppa, where's Grandpa gone?" Hmm, I don't know, Peppa," says Granny Pig. Grandpa Pig arrives carrying Granny Pig's chocolate cake. All that jumping made me a little bit peckish," he says. "So I brought you this. Anyone for a slice?" Everyone laughs. <laughs> Peppa loves muddy puddle walk day. Everyone. Loves muddy puddle walk day. Peppa's clubhouse adventure. Peppa and her friends are in their clubhouse. What game shall we play today? Asks Mandy Mouse. Let's be adventurers, says Susie Sheep. Yes, says Peppa. And outside is a forest full of wild animals. The adventurers wait inside the clubhouse for an animal to appear. Daddy, Peppa whispers through the window, "You have to be a wild animal." Ho ho! <laughs> I think I can manage that," says Daddy Pig. <coughs> Daddy Pig pretends to be a wild animal, stomping through the forest on his feet and hands. Crawling through the forest, Peppa laughs. <laughs> We need more wild animals. Mandy asks her mummy to join in the game. I can be a wild animal too, says Mummy Mouse. Squeak, 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 squeak. Mandy frowns. 
A squeaking mouse is not even a little bit exciting," she says with a frown. Mummy Mouse tries again. She makes a little growling sound, and then, grrrr! Penny polar bears mummies have decided to join in. Polar bears are good at growling," says Penny proudly. The adventurous peep out at the wild animals. We should make the game even more exciting," says Peppa. "Let's pretend there's a jungle outside," says Susie, "with jungle animals." Just then, Mr. Lion, the zookeeper, arrives. Roar! Daddy Pig snorts. <coughs> Mr. Lion tells everyone that he is looking for some animals that escaped from the zoo. I heard some noises coming from this way, he says. Ahem, says Daddy Pig. <coughs> That was just us. Should we be worried about the escaped animals? asks Mummy Mouse. No, says Mr. Lion. They are. Penguins! Shout Peppa and her friends. The escaped penguins are waddling around the playground. There you are, says Mr. Lion. You cheeky things! Hello, penguins, says Peppa. Would you like to see our clubhouse? One by one, the penguins follow Peppa inside. Look. Says Penny, they like the swing, and the slide. Cheers, Mandy. They like the entire playground. Says Susie, the penguins love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Peppa goes swimming. It's a lovely sunny day, and Peppa and her family are at the swimming pool. Peppa, George, let Daddy put on your armbands," <sniffs> snorts Mummy Pig. Today is George's first time at the pool, and he's a bit scared of getting in. Why don't you put one foot in the water? suggests Daddy Pig. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time," says Mummy Pig. Splash! Mummy Pig convinces George to jump into the water. And he loves it. Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> Snorts George happily. Ho ho! Well done, George. <laughs> Snorts Daddy Pig. Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her brother Richard and their mummy. Hello, everyone! cries Rebecca. Squeak squeak! says Richard. Richard, hold on to this float and practice kicking your legs, says Mummy Rabbit. George, would you like to try kicking your legs? asks Mummy Pig. Hee <laughs> hee! Float. <laughs> Giggles George. Ho ho! <laughs> Very good. Laughs Daddy Pig. But please try to not splash us. Big children don't splash. <laughs> says Peppa. Big children are very good at swimming. <laughs> snorts Peppa. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us, won't they, Rebecca? Yes, says Rebecca as she watches the boys kicking. Peppa and Rebecca race each other up and down the pool with their armbands on. They are having so much fun swimming and splashing in the water. Oh dear! Richard Rabbit has dropped his toy watering can. Into the bottom of the pool, mummy! <laughs> cries Richard. Sorry, Richard, I can't reach it. It's too far down, says Mummy Rabbit. Luckily, Daddy Pig is an excellent swimmer. He takes off his glasses and dives right down into the bottom of the pool to get it. Ho ho! <laughs> There you go. Snort, Daddy Pig. Squeak, squeak, says Richard. Well done, Daddy. Smiles, Mummy Pig. 
Oh dear, now Richard is soaking Daddy Pig with the watering can. What a naughty rabbit. <laughs> George thinks it's hilarious. Everyone has had such a wonderful day at the pool. Peppa Pig Sports Day Today is school sports day. Peppa and her friends are all here. The first event is running. The children have to run as fast as they can. Ready, steady, go, says Madame Gazelle. Susie and Peppa are chatting about who can run the race the fastest. Rebecca Rabbit is in the lead. Peppa and Susie are right at the back. Rebecca Rabbit wins the race! Hooray! Everyone cheers. Peppa and Susie are last. It's not winning that matters, Daddy Pig reminds them, but taking parts. Rebecca Rabbit holds up her trophy. The next event is long jump, says Madame Gazelle. George and Richard Rabbit have to run and then jump as far as they can. Whoever jumps the furthest is the winner. Ready, steady, go! Oh dear, Richard Rabbit has jumped further than George. Hooray! shouts all his friends. George is not happy. Remember, George, says Peppa, it's not the winning that matters, but the taking part. The next race is the relay. Daddy Pig is in the lead. He hands the baton to Peppa. Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to... Begins Peppa. Stop talking and run! Snorts Daddy Pig. <sniffs> Emily Elephant is the winner. Everyone cheers. Hooray! Peppa comes last. She is not feeling happy. It's the last event of the day. The tug of war. Boys against girls. The girls will win. <sniffs> snorts Peppa. Woof! No, they won't, says Danny. Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope breaks. The result is a draw. Both teams win, says Madame Gazelle. Everybody cheers. Hooray! I love school sports day, <sniffs> snorts Peppa. Especially when I win a prize. Peppa's first sleepover. Peppa is going to her very first sleepover at Zoe Zebra's house. Welcome to my sleepover, Zoe says. I'll pick you up in the morning, Mummy Pig says to Peppa with a kiss. Peppa is so excited for her very first sleepover. She's brought Teddy with her as she can't wait to join the sleepover fun. Rebecca Rabbit. Susie Sheep and Emily Elephant are already here. I've got my teddy, Peppa says. Zoe has got her monkey, Rebecca has her carrot, Susie has her owl, and Emily has her frog. Now, don't stay up too late, girls, and don't be too loud. Daddy Zebra has got to get up very early in the morning to deliver the post. Daddy Zebra is a postman. Mummy Zebra turns out the lights, but in comes the room, Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zara. They want to join the sleepover too. Sleepovers are only for big girls, Zoe says. Oh dear, the twins have begun to cry. They're so sweet and little, Peppa says. Can they stay? Rebecca asks. Okay, Zoe says to the twins, but you must not fall asleep. What should we do first? Susie asks. I'm having piano lessons. Listen, Susie starts to play the piano on the keys. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh no. 
Mummy Zebra has woken up. Shh! You must be quiet. Daddy Zebra is sleeping. Now, into your sleeping bags now, please. <sighs> What do we do now? Peppa asked. At sleepovers, there's always a midnight feast. Zoe says, "It's when we eat things, but." Quietly, it's meant to be a secret," Susie says. "Shh," Zoe says, as she leads the girls into the kitchen. They each grab some delicious fruit, perfect for their midnight feast. The floorboards start to creak. The girls take turns. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy. Susie begins, but oh no. Mummy Zebra has woken up. You'll wake Daddy Zebra. Now, who knows a bedtime story? And she lived in the forest. Peppa continues, and the fairy met a big monster who went raw. Emily says with a trumpet noise. Oh dear! The noise has woken up Daddy Zebra. Sorry, Daddy. Zoe says. There was a story about a fairy and a scary monster, and we want to know what happens next. Peppa says, "Very well." Daddy Zebra sighs. The monster lifted up his great big hairy paws and walked along on his great big hairy feet, and sang, "Twinkle, twinkle, little star." How I wonder what you are. Daddy Zebra sings gently as he plays the piano. Daddy Zebra's song has sent everyone to sleep. Peppa plays football. It's a sunny day, and Peppa Pig and Susie Sheep are playing tennis. To you, Susie! Cheers, Peppa, hitting the ball. Now it's Susie's turn. To you, Peppa! She cries, hitting the ball straight over Peppa's head. Oh dear! George feels a bit left out. Sorry, George, says Peppa. You can't play tennis. We only have two rackets. George can be the ball boy. Cheers, Susie. Being a ball boy is a very important job, George," says Peppa. Peppa and Susie are having lots of fun, but they keep missing the ball. Ball boy! They shout together. George is out of breath. He isn't having fun. He keeps running to get the ball, and he is very, very tired. Hello, everyone. Cries Peppa when her friends arrive. We're playing tennis. Can we play too? Asks Danny Dog. There aren't enough rackets, replies Susie Sheep. Let's play football then, says Danny Dog. Football, hooray! Everyone cheers. We can play girls against boys, says Peppa. Each team needs a goalkeeper. Says Danny Dog, "Me, me, me!" shouts Petro Pony. "Me, me!" squeak, squeak! cries Rebecca Rabbit. Petro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit decide to be the goalkeepers. The boys' team will start, says Danny Dog. Richard Rabbit gets the ball and runs very fast, right by Peppa Pig, Susie Sheep, and Candy Cat, and straight to the. Goal! Cry Danny and Pedro together as Richard Rabbit kicks the ball straight past Rebecca Rabbit and into the net. The boy is a winner! Cheers, Danny Dog. That's not fair. We weren't ready. Moans Peppa. Rebecca Rabbit picks up the ball and runs. Hey! Shouts Danny Dog. That's cheating. You can't hold the ball. Yes, I can. Says Rebecca, "I'm the goalkeeper." 
Rebecca throws the ball into the goal, straight past Pedro Pony. Goal! She cries. That goal is not allowed, says Pedro. Yes, it is, says Peppa. No, it isn't. Ruff! Barks Danny. What a lot of noise! <laughs> snorts Daddy Pig. I'll be the referee. The next team to get a goal will win the game, says Daddy Pig. Richard Rabbit and George run off with the football while everyone is still talking. Where's the ball? asks Peppa. But it's too late. Richard Rabbit kicks the ball straight into the goal past Pedro Pony. Hooray! The boys' team win! cries Danny. Oh, football is a silly game, sighs Peppa, disappointed. Just a moment, says Daddy Pig. The boys scored in their own goal. That means the girls win. Really? Gasp all the girls. Hooray! Football is a great game. Cheers, Peppa. <laughs> Everyone laughs. Everyone loves playing football. My mummy. My name is Peppa, and this book. Is all about my mummy. This is a picture I drew of my mummy. She is the best mummy in the whole wide world, and the prettiest. My mummy is very graceful, like a pretty ballerina, except when she's picking blackberries. My mummy can be very serious. Serious about playing with me and George. We always do baking in the kitchen together. We're making chocolate cake, my favourite. My mummy works very hard at home. She's always on her computer typing. And she works hard when she's outside. She's even put out a barbecue fire once. My mummy is very wise. She can read maps all by herself, and then make paper aeroplanes out of them. My mummy always treats me and George like big people, but she's always there for us when we're frightened and a bit scared at times. Like when there was lightning going off outside, it was really scary. My mummy can do anything she puts her mind to, like playing the violin. And she always does something when someone tells her she can't do it. My mummy is very neat and tidy. She always helps me and George put away our toys. But what she loves the most is jumping up and down in muddy puddles, just as much as I do. <laughs> George's first day at playgroup. Today is George's first day at playgroup. Isn't George a bit too small for playgroup? Asks Peppa. You can look after him, says Daddy Pig. Peppa isn't sure she wants George at her playgroup, but she likes the idea of looking after him. Are you sure George is big enough? Peppa asks when they arrive. Yes, he'll be fine. Replies Daddy Pig. Okay, he can come," says Peppa. She holds on to George's hand. <laughs> Snorts George, jumping up and down. <laughs> Here is Madame Gazelle, Peppa's playgroup teacher. She looks after Peppa and her friends. Madame Gazelle tells the children that George is coming to play. The children are all very excited about meeting Peppa's little brother. At playgroup, there's Rebecca Rabbit, Squeak Squeak, Petro Pony, May, Danny Dog, Ruff Ruff, Candy Cats, Meow, and Susie Sheep. Ba. This is my little brother George. Cries Peppa. Grrr. Dinosaur. Growls George. <laughs> Everyone laughs. I wish I had a little brother like George. Ba says Susie Sheep. 
George shakes his toy, Mr. Dinosaur, at Madame Gazelle. Grrr! Dinosaur! Ah! Really scary! Laughs Madame Gazelle. Pepper is proud of George, making everyone laugh. George is my little brother. He's brilliant, she says proudly. The children are doing art time. Shall we show George how to paint pictures? Madame Gazelle asks the children. George is not very good at painting, says Pepper, but I can show him how to paint a flower. Watch me, George! <sniffs> snorts Pepper. First, you paint a big circle. Pepper carefully dips her brush into a pot of paint, and then she draws a big pink circle right in the middle of her paper. George draws a big green circle. No, George, that's the wrong colour. <sniffs> snorts Pepper. Watch me. Pepper makes yellow pencil shapes. George paints a green zigzag. George, that's the wrong shape, says Pepper. Pepper admires her flower painting. Perfect, she says happily. George is still painting. Instead of a stalk and leaves, he has painted another circle with five lines sticking out from it. You're doing it all wrong. Says Pepper. I've painted a flower, says Pepper. Very good, Pepper. Smiles Madame Gazelle. And look, George has painted a dinosaur. Madame Gazelle sticks Pepper and George's pictures onto the wall, and their friends admire. That's a great painting, George. Says Rebecca Rabbit. Now it's home time. It's time to go home. What will you paint next time, George? Asks Madame Gazelle. Dinosaur. Grrr. <laughs> Giggles George. <laughs> Everyone laughs. George has had an amazing day at playgroup. Peppa Pig, Peppa the Easter Bunny. Peppa is painting a picture. Of the Easter Bunny with some yummy chocolate eggs. Let's have a surprise Easter egg hunt, George. Peppa cries. We can hide eggs in the garden, then our friends can come and look for them. Yippee! <laughs> Cheers, George. In the kitchen, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig help Peppa and George decorate their Easter eggs and hide them in the garden. You're just like an Easter bunny, Peppa," says Mummy Pig. <laughs> "I am the Easter bunny," says Peppa as she hops around the garden like a bunny rabbit. Peppa and George are having so much fun pretending to be Easter bunnies and little chickens in the garden. Cheep cheep, cheep cheep, cheep cheep. <laughs> Daddy," says Peppa. When they finish hiding the eggs, can I surprise my friends and dress up as the Easter Bunny? Cheep 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 cheep, asks George. Hmm, says Daddy Pig, thinking. Let's see what we can find in the dressing up box, shall we? Let's go back inside. In no time, Peppa is dressed up as the Easter Bunny, and George is dressed up as a little chick. Perfect. Says Daddy Pig proudly. Your friends will be here soon, says Mummy Pig. I'll help you hide so you can surprise them. I can't wait to surprise my friends, says Peppa. Come on, George. Just then, the doorbell rings. Ding dong. Daddy Pig answers the door. It's Peppa's friends. There's Rebecca Rabbit, Squeak Squeak, Candy Cat. Meow, Susie Sheep, Ba, Pedro Pony, May, and Danny Dog. Ruff, ruff. We're here for Pepper and George's surprise Easter egg hunt," says Danny Dog excitedly. "Splendid! This way, please," says Daddy Pig, leading them to the garden. Ready, steady, hop! 
shouts Daddy Pig. Peppa's friends set off, hopping, skipping, and running round the garden looking for eggs. Found one, says Susie Sheep. She finds a purple egg with yellow stars. Me too, says Danny. He finds one with pink and white stripes. This is the best Easter egg hunt ever, cries Candy Cat. She's found a blue egg. Bah! We've all found an egg, says Susie. But where are Pepper and George? The Chaucian hearer. Tap 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 noise coming from behind a bush. Look! <gasps> Gasps Pedro Pony. There are two giant Easter eggs left. The children run over as fast as they can to the two giant eggs, and they slowly begin to crack and jump out. Pepper and George, surprise! <laughs> says Pepper. Pepper and the Easter Bunny gasp the children, and George the Chick. Did you like our surprise Easter egg hunt? Asked Peppa. Yes. Everyone cheers. <laughs> Everyone loves the Easter egg hunt. Everyone loves Peppa the Easter Bunny and George the Chick. Everyone had such a lovely Easter, and I hope you did too, boys and girls. Happy Easter from Roberta. Goodbye.